Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Axis Football 19, not 18, which you've seen previously. This is the college football playoff game round one. We got number two, Ohio State versus number three, Clemson. Also, defending champs, Clemson. And I'm going to be doing LSU versus Oklahoma next and the national championship game. Five-minute quarters, Hall of Fame difficulty, and I don't believe my headset on. Nobody's talking but me, so I'm your announcer today. Welcome to the Mr. Zoom channel. Let's get things started off. I actually haven't even played Axis 19. I just bought it, put the mods in. So this is my first time seeing any gameplay. It looks like they got the uh, player models looking a little bit more crispy this year as Austin Mack brings it out to about the 25-yard line. I don't get any... Um, it looks like there's... Oh, it does tell me the people. All right. Fields in the backfield getting pressured, and that was a janky tackle. And uh, Jones got that, and Ohio State is slowly accepting that penalty. Or uh, Clemson, one or the other. Now, I, kn I know the Buckeyes players because I'm actually a fan of the Ohio State Buckeyes. And I don't know a lot of Clemson players, but I know some of them. There's a fumble on the field. Clemson's got it. Defending champs. And it's nice to see that they didn't fix the uh, field thing where they both offense drives on the same side of the field. As the Buckeyes come up with a tackle, like I said, Buckeye fan, but I'm going to call this game right now in the middle. Defending champs right now, coming out strong, getting a fumble for the Buckeyes. And that's a crazy touchdown for Higgins. That is crazy. That was awesome to see. Big plays already. Clemson marching right down the field. Saying, we're not going to give you time, Ohio State, to wait till the third quarter to play ball. We're going to come right down the field and get a touchdown. So Ohio State right now down seven points, needing to try and get down the field and not fumble it. Um, so we'll see what they got here. Ohio State snaps it, tosses it back to Dobbins, and the tackler looks a lot cleaner, I think, in this game, except for that one jink. Uh, Fields was over there and then got caught. Dobbins again, making some people miss and getting uh, the first down there. J.K. Dobbins, the player of this team, J.K. Dobbins, moves the ball when Ohio State needs the ball moved. And I would say probably the best player on the Ohio State Buckeyes as he picks up about four there, it looked like. Tosses it to Dobbins again, working him hard here, and he gets a great pickup. And there's going to be face masking penalty on Chad Smith, it looks like. Fields snaps it, tosses it to Dobbins again. Just just keep keeps Dobbins going. This this actually implements real life very well. Just run it with Dobbins. That's that's what the Buckeyes are. And he breaks another big gain gain there. Dobbins, eight rushes, 44 yards already in this game. And the Buckeyes, hey, if it's working, keep doing it, right? Dobbins again, ninth carry. Um, I don't, has Ohio State throw the ball? I can't remember already. My brain doesn't work, and we're already into the second quarter as they're having a really long drive down the field, and that's a pass to Dobbins. And could have been a first down, but it doesn't look like they're going to make him work for it. Third and inches here. Dobbins again. Looked like he picked up the first down. And he does. Justin Phillips did make one pass. And that was a J.K. Dobbins a second ago. So far, Dobbins the only target in the game. Now he targets uh, another wide receiver. Now they pick up about eight. Justin Phillips steps back. Not really anybody open, but he's going to go for it. And that's a touchdown for the tight end, I believe. Luke Farrell is a tight end, so... Kick for the Buckeyes is good, and now we got a tie ball game with three minutes left. But Clemson was explosive, as you expect them to be. Um, got a friend request down the bottom of the screen, which is quite interesting, I guess. All right, anyways, back to the game. Clemson explosive on their first drive, and they're looking to just keep doing that. They hand it off to, I believe it's Anastine. Is that how you pronounce it? I believe so. 
like I said, I'm not familiar with some of the players from LSU, Oklahoma, or Clemson. The only reason I know as many Buckeyes as they come up with a big sack there um, is because I'm a lifelong fan of the Ohio State Buckeyes. The only reason why I know who the most of those players are on that team. It's Trevor Lawrence bombs another one, and it was a butte right to T. Higgins. And uh, there's a penalty on Clemson for offensive pass interference, I believe. Must have pushed off. So they'll get a retry. Third and 21, Buckeyes pressure, and it don't matter. Clemson's offense is bombing it out here. Trevor Lawrence says, I don't care. I'll do it again. And a big run from Ann Steen, I believe is how you pronounce it. If I'm saying it wrong, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, a few people out there. I'm sorry, I can't read. I'm stupid. But another running for Clemson, and he almost picks up another first down. Under center now, Lawrence steps back. No pressure, a little bit of pressure there, and he has a receiver down there. That was a tight one. I thought that could have been picked. And they're inside the 10-yard line. Clemson had a little rough start there to the drive, but they're getting her done. And that's another touchdown. T. Higgins single-handedly out here. Beating the Buckeyes, honestly. Fourteen to seven. They're going to leave the Buckeyes with about a mm, fifty-six seconds, probably after this run back. And uh, here we go. Buckeyes going to try to tie it up before halftime here. And Dobbins is doing what he's been doing all game, just walking all over this Clemson defense. He, just like T. Higgins, is single-handedly beating the Clemson Tigers as they get him dropped. I thought it was behind the line, but it looks like they got him on the line. Flag on the field. Um, offensive. Uh, he must fall start. About said offensive pass interference. Third and one, Buckeyes need to try to convert here to at least get in field goal range. Justin Fields tosses it to J.K. Dobbins behind the line. Just got all kinds of work up there. Could we see a fake fourth down play from the Buckeyes? No, they're going to kick it to Clemson. Smart thing to do. Jones got the ball running down the field. And uh, looked like Austin Mack got that. I'm not sure if he plays on the return team or not. Lawrence steps back, going to try to get him in field goal range or possibly just bomb it like he's done all game. This Ohio State secondary doesn't know what to do. Going to look like a, looks like a run here. Uh, they faked me out. Lawrence, oh my God, and Clemson. Clemson with these bombs. These bombs, I'm telling you right now. This game could possibly be over. We are, I mean, you already know what Clemson's capable of in big games. They're the defending champions. In my book, they should have been ranked number one over LSU and Ohio State. I'm sorry. It's the truth. It's what it should have been done. They're the defending champs. They're undefeated. Why are they not number one? Back into it. I understand they had an easy schedule and all that stuff, but they're still defending champs, unbeaten. You got to give it to them. And they're showing it right here why they're the champions and why they are undefeated. Because it doesn't matter. It's the Clemson Tigers, baby. They're putting up. All right. Ohio State needs to try to find some offensive passing game because they have just been running it with Dobbins. And uh, as for that Ohio State defense, going to have to find some way to get Chase Young in there. Brings it out, gets him out in what is that 18 yard line, 17 yard line. Alright, Clemson got the ball at the halftime. Hands it off to the running back there. Gets a big gain there, honestly. And a uh, pretty good gain. Gonna at the fullback. Or does he play wide receiver? Dixon. I've seen him before. He is a running back as well. He's playing fullback on that last drive. Warren steps back, getting pressured a little bit over the middle. The pressure was too much for him to complete the pass. Oh my God. 
how is that not a pick from Akuda? There was some offensive lineman holding. It's going to back him up 20 yards. As Lawrence steps back now. Doesn't really have anybody open, but he just somehow puts a dot in there between all those defenders. And they're going to get an extra five yards because uh, they fa Ohio State face masked him on the way down. Playing dirty, the Buckeyes. They know they got to get a win here. Got to get a stop. Not even to get a win. They got to get a stop. Or else this game could could possibly be over because their offense hasn't done that good today. Clemson's D has been showing up a little bit here. And uh, their offense is heavy hitting in the first half. So it's been a pretty interesting game. Some uh, pressure brought. And another throw from Lawrence that could have been picked. But uh, couldn't get there. Couldn't bring it in. Some more pressure. And that's another bomb. And uh, they didn't come up with that one. The first one today, I think, they didn't come up with that. They bombed it down the field. So I think the Buckeyes D got, got a good stop there. But really, I think Clemson stopped themselves on that drive. I don't think the Buckeyes had anything to do with it. So Justin Fields coming back out. And they're going to do some more Dobbins shit. And he picks up about three to four yards on that play. At some point here, the Buckeyes are, I was going to say, they got to throw it at some point, and that was just, he had a man open, and Austin Mack just apparently didn't see him. Fields getting some pressure over the middle, little toss to Dobbins, and it's fourth and two just like that. Being down two touchdowns, you're going to have to come up with some better offensive plays than that if you're going to want to come back and beat this Clemson team. And pretty big sack out there from Joe, or whoever that was that got that sack. And Instinct takes off with it again, and he gets about six, seven, six. Clemson just wanting to play the clock here, and their running back has been getting it done pretty much all day, picking up at least three to four yards. So I think uh, they should be able to run the clock down. As that is the end of the third quarter. Five minutes left in this playoff round one game. Which, they're actually, this is the only playoff game other than LSU. But I'm calling it round one because it's the first game we're doing. Buckeyes get a much needed stop there. As you know, Clemson was just trying to run the clock. And they stopped him there. Ohio State needs a scoring drive here. And then they'd have to have a big defensive play. And then their offense would have to explode again. Big play. And Matt comes up with it along the sidelines. And there's a flag. Offensive false start again. And I believe he's false started like three times in this game. So if I was that Ohio State coaching staff. I'd start looking at taking that guy out. Dobbins making some moves. But not even getting past the line of scrimmage I don't believe. If he did, he picked up one yard. Fields getting some pressure. Moves out of the way. And Mack coming up with another catch. So far, the uh, senior is coming up with uh, some big heavy hitting catching today. Because Dobbins isn't getting it done around the outside. They have ran too much time off the clock. And a two-minute warning comes around. I don't think the Buckeyes are going to be able to do it in this one. Field steps back all day to throw, and uh, he connected with Mack again. Three for three on that drive, Austin Mack. To bring it in at home to the touchdown. Now, it's going to turn over to the Buckeyes defense. Can they get a stop? Or will Clemson just clinch it? They're going to bring this one out, which is... Uh, not really surprising. I mean, they're going to take some time off the clock. I would assume that this is going to be running dry, but you also don't want to go three and out. Um, got a great pickup of six yards there. And uh, tossing over the middle, got the first down. And the running back gets it again. And I would say this game's pretty much on ice for the uh, 
Clemson Tigers here. They got some pressure there, but he's still catching it for another first down. Like, I think they're trying to prove something to LSU and Oklahoma. Go down there and get a touchdown when they're already up to show them that they can score no matter what. Now they're in that running the clock down now. It was a pretty good game. Uh, some good scoring. Um, some good defensive plays. Um, you know, great, great job. And it's not surprising to see Clemson pulling off the win here. Just running down some clock. Trying to get out of here. 21 to 14. The Buckeyes put up a good fight, but it wasn't good enough. Lawrence steps back. Not sure why they're still taking chances passing it. Definitely should have ran it there. That could have been a tying game moment. But there it is, guys. 21-14. 275 yards. Total for Clemson and 160 for the Buckeyes. Lawrence, here's his stats. Got some running back stats here for you. Receiving stats for our new Higgins was going to be up there. Um, Dobbins did pretty good. Uh, he was actually the really, other than Austin Mack, they ran the whole team today for the Buckeyes and uh, Dobbins there. Then we got the quarterback here, his rating. Um, great game. Both teams did very well. Um, pretty explosive offensive game, which I think the real game will be as well. It's going to be more of an offensive game than defense. But, yeah, you never know. Um, Clemson's moving on to round two. Excited to see them play whoever wins the next game in the series. So if you guys did like this and you want to see the next one, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.